Hi! I guess that explains the Dragon Quest music because it's time for another fan mail unboxing. Well, the first thing on the list today is this Diva Nendroid sent to us by some unknown fan. I don't know, Bob left it out with the rest of this stuff. So I guess we'll we get to it. unboxing it. Mine. What are you doing? But that's yours. Yeah. Oh. So I guess we'll open this decidedly less cute box. We legitimately have no idea what's in here. No one messaged me and said, hey, I'm sending you a box. So I'm really concerned. <laughs> That's probably anthrax, like usual. Oh, you know how that goes. Being a live streamer. And... <laughs> Limited edition collector's let me, giga box. Let me, let me grab the focus on that. It's good. Okay. That's real good. What is this? What is it's, this? It's an e-tank. Oh my god. What? It's it's an e-tank and some mysterious thumb drive. Uh, a weird part of a box. I feel like we're getting a mystery here. One second. Wait, that is... I think that's an Amiibo. Scannable card. So this is an e-tank mug. But, it's but I think it's porous. Because I'm not sure how well that's going to catch. It, was this just... Here, come from... Because that's literally porous. I think right there, that actually goes through. So I should not try to drink from this, I'm guessing. Right. But what's up? I think that might be 3D printed. Uh, yeah, that does look pretty 3D printed. Who knows, maybe it'll hold water. We should pour it inside. A mysterious thumb drive. Hey Bob, which one of us is bold enough to try the mysterious thumb drive? Do you think the Chromebook can read it? <laughs> I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Oh my God. People are gonna have to live with the mystery. What is the mysterious thumb drive? Maybe this note will help us. Uh, tell us all sorts we of also things. have oh, nice little wood crafted Mega Man heads. Those are really nice. Oh, and Woodman even, because he's made of wood. Because <laughs> he's made of wood. And then two little E-Tanks. This is awesome. Tosh would love this. I assume they're like coasters. <laughs> I, ju I would not use them as coasters. Maybe they not. are not flat. Oh, yeah, they... I think they're just good, neat little yeah. wood art. Right. I like it. We should find a way to attach that to, like, a wall or something. I'm, I'm curious what this... I don't know. It's... Oh, is this from the uh, Mario cereal box? Wait, what? Yeah. Huh. So this is an amiibo from that. Okay, let's see. Congrats uh, to Mr. Dan and Bob Video Games. Congrats, you won. You have been selected to receive the first limited edition, limited collector's edition Gigabox, which contains many good goods. This box contains unpainted Mega Man E-Tank can koozie. Okay, so it's, oh, it's a koozie. you stick you stick the can there. Yeah. Do we have it? I don't think we have a can we right now. I drank all the monster. Oh, man. We have mug. Here, I'm gonna grab a mug. I'll be right back. Here we go. That's pretty neat. You know, sits in there. It moves a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't. You it know, it, it keeps can, it yeah. keeps my hand warm and my drink cold. That's right. And my pimp hand strong. Actually, you know, I have another can. I want to try that. Be right back. I don't think it's gonna fit that one, Dan. Okay, here. We, let's find out. Okay, it won't fit that one, but it works for mug root beer. It won't fit your green tea. Damn. Your this is my peace tea. Peace tea. This not is not Arizona. Arizona. It's not, it just looks it's a lot like Arizona. It is clearly going for the same market share, but they're charging slightly more, and it tastes worlds better. <laughs> They'll try. <laughs> <laughs> they will try. Um, let's see. Five laser etched wood Mega Man trinkets. Cereal box amiibo thing that definitely doesn't crossed out works. So it definitely works. They yeah. they seemed unsure at first, but uh, flash drive with five homemade games of varying quality and stability and no Trojans. You know when you say it like that, you just worry. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> and then crossed out it says unopened package of anthrax expired so really it's just a package of anthrax which is totally expired and uh bad jokes we also get those here this box is simply a sample of what's to come to continue subscription to gigabox 
<laughs> I forgot that we were supposed to start the Gigabox service. Sometimes you do a six and a half hour live stream and you say really goofy shit and it's a running gag for the live stream and then you go to sleep and you don't remember any of it. Right. Um, oh my god. This is, this box is simply a sample of what's to come. To continue your subscription to Gigabox, send shirtless pics to the return address on this box. To cancel your subscription, send a letter with your credit card information, and we will charge the cancellation fee of $86,753.09. Oh wait, but these aren't cents, these are sex. S-E-K, Swedish Kronas, to your account. We appreciate your continued patronage. Sincerely, Gigabox Core CEO, 64 Master. This is awesome, 64 Master, thank you. Joke's on him, we scratched out the, his uh, return address. We can't possibly do that. <laughs> and uh, the last, the best for last, there's a dick pic. Oh my god, he's got a little smiley face too. Yes, it's delightful. Such good art. <laughs> You know, I feel like this, really cool, right? Yeah. And then that. <laughs> not, not, mm, no, not as cool. Not as cool. <laughs> totally not viruses. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like something broken in there. It's a bomb! No, it's broken, Dan. I'm sorry. No, it's a bomb! It's not, it's not a bomb, it's broken. This is actually from... Wardanus, or Mr. Wardanus, or Ward, whatever you want to call him. And there seems to be a timer. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I can do that. I think we can manage to. I feel like the constant ticking might add a weird air to our videos. Yeah, no, that will not be uh, okay, <laughs> but it's hilarious. Let's see. I don't think it'll make us remember it. Uh, he used the Amazon gift note to say, now you don't need to look at your phone for any reason, Wardonis. <laughs> that is hilarious, I bet that would pick up. Yeah. We should do that for like, it, it, we need to use this on this week's As soon as Ward, episode. Ward shows up, we're just like, yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, it's that type, where it just, yeah, it's just, Super basic. Like, well, I'm just surprised it actually, like... Uh-oh. <laughs> I finally got that thing to turn off. So we're ready for the next one. This package is from Polite Canuck, who very kindly sent us a, a Canadian... What, what, what do you call this a Call of Duty? Air supplies or yeah, whatever? Yeah. Supply drop. Supply drop. And here's our Canadian supply drop. Canadian sweets. Confections. Most Canadians are sweet, in my experience. Well, I mean, like candies, not like... Oh. I don't think there's a person I, in there. I thought he was going to send, like, really nice letters. Oh, okay. And apologies. <laughs> does, does, what do we does got here? Do need to apologize? <laughs> Uh, polite people apologize. Oh yeah, I guess that's cool. <laughs> I don't think this is an intentional thing he's done here. I think <laughs> maybe that just said that to begin with. Okay, here we go. We got Dear, di Dear diary. <laughs> These names. <laughs> Dear Dan, Giga Giggle video games and Bob Chat Editor video games. <laughs> You're like, uh, this is, t your rough draft's too rough. Let me just change some of these words around. Look, they just need it, okay? <laughs> I finally got this damn thing sent. Inside you will find a variety of Canadian snacks, set as per the International YouTube Treaty, stating that all packages sent to foreign YouTubers must contain local snacks. Also included are several pieces of Canadian quiche. The two, first two guys broke that policy. Wait. I guess that but they, they, were, they were in Canada. Yeah, they, weren't, they weren't in other countries. Okay. It's not international. <laughs> Though, uh, you know, maybe we should remove some of those states from the Union. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you again for all the... I hope that's pronounced quiche. It's K-I-C-H-E. But quiche probably... is an egg dish, right? Right. Right? And it's spelled with a Q. Here, I'll keep that up. It's spelled with a Q. 
and I couldn't really focus. It was too small, but that's okay. It's, it was too small. Um, right. I mean, so I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out, I guess. Thank you again for all the hard work both of you put into the channel. The weekend can't officially start until the two of you bash your heads against Kaizo Mega Man levels while the rest of us badly shitpost in the chat. It's helped me get through some stressful times, and the community you are fostering looks to be growing and uh, growing to be a good group of people. You were all, you were all like r rascals, rapscallions before we started our series. Then I gathered you together and helped turn you into a group of good people. <laughs> It actually says a good group of people, not a group of good people, I should clarify. Like, like, Dan chat editor now. <laughs> Fan mail editor, Fan thank mail. you, thank you. Man, this is the longest send time on a chat message I've ever received. The ship posting confirms that. Here is hoping the channel becomes self-sufficient so the both of you can work standard human hours. <laughs> good things are coming your way and you deserve it all. Regards and best of luck, Polite Canuck. There we go, Polite Canuck. Now your wife can stop giving the both of us shit. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Um, What's it in here? Oh. It says Dan. We got Mars bars. Mars bars. Have you had a Mars bar? I don't know. I think I've told this story, but I'm not sure. Now I'm not so sure. Um, on the channel, on the channel, or uh, at my last job, or no, this was a couple jobs ago, I used to work at CVS Overnights and a really stoned uh, dude uh, I couldn't really elicit his ethnicity, otherwise I would add that's a wrinkle to the story. He just kept coming in with a really thick accent and like his curly froish thing. And he'd be like, you never had a Mars bar? <laughs> and he was clearly high off of his ass, but he insisted a lot that it was the best candy bar in the world, Bob. So look forward to exciting, it. Exciting, exciting. Oh my Christ. So this is Dan. Right. Uh, Am I, ex uh, am I excited for you that you're retiring 31st birthday? That I am 31st birthday. <laughs> okay. You picked the right card. Like, I like it. You bet your raff I am. Happy birthday, dude. Play Canuck. See, it's like your ass. You bet your ass. I didn't get that. But you That's bet your raff. It's pretty good. Okay. Solid card joke. Okay, here. Now you need to open your birthday card, Bob. Oh no. Here, here you go, Dan. Let's see. Hey, Bob. Hey. The film becomes the filmed. Don't worry. <laughs> you probably see the, the diva thing still right behind me. Do they? <laughs> no, actually, we didn't. I have a pretty close shot. Okay, alright. Okay, what do we got? Hat thing. Thank happy bur birth thank, thank you. you happy birthday okay so it was a thank you card that says thank you you know yeah. sheep, sheep. That, that was woolly a woolly nice birthday <laughs> he's thanking you for your woolly nice birthday <laughs> <laughs> these are good card choices yeah be polite. uh it's, they uh, were very fitting I think that was my favorite part. I'm sure they weren't left over from anything else. No! <laughs> they weren't re-gifted either. No, no. It just painstakingly takes white out, white out to the whole thing. Here we go. Okay. Oh my god, is those pickle-flavored chips of some sort? Yes. Let's get the Lay's ketchup chips out of the way, because yeah, Canadians need to beat us over the head with this. We didn't get them. That's, I'm upset. I like ketchup. I like potato chips. We might have to eat these for some sort of series where Gigaboots eats things. <laughs> I don't know though. I feel weird. This, okay. I don't know if something went wrong here. Let me see how many, 58 grams. I need this in American. <laughs> this is way less than normally comes in a bag of this approximate size of Lay's. Like, uh, like yeah. here, I'll hold the camera. You, right? Yeah, you feel yeah, how light it's that is? Really light. Like, I feel like, like. Maybe it's reasonable. It's like somewhere it's between dollar, our. So, yeah. It's somewhere between our really small size and our kind of big size, you know? Right, yeah. It's like. I think it's. I think it's like a reasonable amount for a human to consume. No, it's 310 calories. Um. No. <laughs> never mind. Moving on. Creamy dill pickle. Oh, man, the creamy. Oh. worries me. Yeah, it should. We're gonna have to do another whole like episode just on. We're gonna have to do eating a these things. Yes, we're gonna have to do a free episode of Gigaboot Eats. Or do we just eat them all during this? No, that's probably not safe. <laughs> during this? Oh no. I'm just gonna read a little bit of the back of this covered bridge potato chips. 
The Albright family potato farm began more than 80 years ago when great Grandpa Aubrey planted his first potatoes. Today we carry on. I am amazed how like spot on with like normal American copyright that sounds, you know? Like that just sounds like American company marketing materials, like the South. Yeah. Like this, this in the Lays might as well be the same company. That's amazing. And then it has it again in French. Oh yeah. Yeah, because it's Canada. Yeah. Some yeah. people are native French speakers. That's how it is. Are there two but, bags of that in there? But then, what? It looks like there's a second bag in there. Is there? Yeah. Oh hey. Two whole bags of that um, creamy um, meal stuff. And it better be good. Or otherwise, uh oh. Maybe this one's better for us. You should check that. Oh yeah, sure. Let me uh No, that is that is still uh There's still a lot of calories. <laughs> Wait, one second. Okay, so there are two servings. No, there are four servings in here. There are four servings in here. This is a thousand calorie bag, so there you go. No, I'm not worried about it for the diet. Polite yeah. Canuck was really nervous. He was like, yeah. why'd you go on a diet before it arrived? Don't worry about it. This is where it's at. This right here. Oh man, those are maple. Maple milk chocolates. Oh my god. That sounds really good. This may not make it to the Giga Boots Eats video. No, maybe if not. If we do one. This may not make it to the end of this video. Coffee crisp, always a good what? choice. Always a good choice. That, that thing's a flake, coffee flavored candy bar? Uh-huh. Whoa. You need to you need to try it. I am mildly worldly, so I've seen some of these things. I've encountered some of these riddles before. Oh, we I got smarties. We have smarties. I thought, I thought we, we we now have Canadian smarties. Are, okay, I was like, we have smarties here in the states, don't we? I think I'm pretty sure. Make them last. Okay. Do you eat the red one last? What what is? Is this a mystery? Am I trying to catch weird, the Riddler? Probably like the, the Mike and Ike where it's like, find Ike. I don't care, man. Ike seems, to, some Ike seems to be the color yellow. <laughs> okay, we got a oh, Canadian oh, bottle oh. opener. This is amazing. You can tell it's from Canada because it- Because it literally fucking is a Canadian leaf with Canada on it. Hello, you could not- There we go. How about that? There we go, now they can see it. It could not be more subtle. Oh, it's magnetic too, so it can just... Oh, wow. Can it... Yeah. Fancy. Classy, that's... Yeah, you know, we always have the table we'll out just here in the keep middle it. of my kitchen. Oh, uh, yeah, time. absolutely. Might as well, you've seen the boxes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Smarties. That. More Smarties. More that. Maple wafers. That I am so oh, hyped for. Because we have Vortman in the same thing. have maple Vortman. No. At least not that I've seen. Yeah, no, I have. I've had some wafers from uh, Vortman and they're, they're solid. Yeah, Vortman's good. So, oh, it's limited edition. Ooh. We need to keep so, this complete in box so we can so sell I'm, it. Um, there we go, focus. I yeah, I can only, yeah, it's not a macro lens. We gotta have it certain distance from it. Uh, oh, what's this? It's shuffled upside down. It's a Canadian mug. But it's from a Starbucks. That just feels weird. I'm like, shouldn't it be from, uh, what's that chain? That Tim Hortons? Tim Hortons. It's not that that was the only thing they had. I That's a good was, point. Yeah, Starbucks, but I think you lied to. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks is a Canadian. It's nice and all. It's just not Tim Hortons. <laughs> I love the, how the minimalist package of the Starbucks coffee mug is the thing that fell apart in this whole thing. Right? That's like, that couldn't be more perfect. That really couldn't. So really. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. More maple leaf cookies. Oh my god. We're gonna doomed. kill us with maple, man. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good way to go. Biscuits, uh, fue dorable. Way go. <laughs> Biscuits of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Biscuits del Fuego. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, no. These these are gonna get demolished. Probably tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um and then keeping with tonight's trend, a mysterious thumb drive. Oh no! Why why? I uh I actually know what's on this, but I can't tell you. Okay. It's personal. Sending his crazy Canadian head tie like we were talking about before. <laughs> Wait, somebody was saying, wasn't animated 
porn illegal in Canada? Yeah, I, think, I think that was what the f <laughs> They're like, it's animated clearly for kids. You're going to jail. <laughs> Nobody gets off the drawings of boobs. <laughs> not, not even one. Did you even <laughs> that's when you hand that's when you hand that commissioner or whatever the fucking uh, that weird 70s uh, cat animated film that was weird and pervy as shit. Right. If Agro was here, he would know the name. He would be like Oh yes, such and such. I saw that when I was 12, and I'll just be like... Maybe don't. Maybe don't say that that loud. <laughs> that, that, that film is creepy. It's just like, what if this house cat had giant tits and a nice ass? And the main character was just getting high off of his ass and wanting to tap that. And it's just like... This is not Milo and Otis. You know, I was actually needing a uh, USB thumb drive for trying to transfer save data from the PS360 to the Xbox One. Oh, nice. Nice. You can uh, use this, and it'll come with an extra benefit of viruses. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Canada. Thanks for like, and, uh, you're the best. Bob, I'll put one in my computer, okay? okay. You put the other in yours, and we'll see whose crashes first. <laughs> Who just, just becomes unusable first. We'll go and go. It'll be a speed run. This month's Gigavids were brought to you by our glorious executive producers. Vincent Poverk, Nicholas Cameron, E. Lee Broyles, Brendan O'Sullivan, Trouncing Trogdor, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff, Belezra, Danny Richardson, Dryzart, and Wardonis. Thank you to all of our executive producers, and also these guys. Head on over to patreon.com slash gigboots today so we can make more videos like this.